Sophia Cruz with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Welcome back Idaho and happy Monday. I'm Sophia Cruz if you're just waking up and I have a Monday morning jam for you. I have the Tiger by Survivor because it's Monday. We got to get through the week and some rain that's on our forecast. This morning we're seeing some light rain take place, but that's going to grow heavier going into Wednesday. And let me explain why in just a few moments, but coming home afternoon, we'll start to see some pleasant conditions in the 50s. So it'll be pretty nice afternoon for a walk and enjoy the relief that we're getting because it does not last long. At eight o'clock tonight, we'll start to see some of this rain come into the area growing heavier into 11 overnight Tuesday. We'll really start to see more heavier rain take place. We could even see some thunderstorms and grapple with the heaviest parts of this system. But as we go into Tuesday afternoon, we'll start to see scattered showers across the area with snow from the mountains and then tapering off Wednesday morning. And there is a light at the end of this tunnel. We're going to see a high pressure ridge build over the area, bringing sunny skies and warmer temperatures. But for now, we've got to get through this rain and here's a better look at what we can see. 12 o'clock mid night Tuesday. So we'll see a quarter of an inch and then look how much it grows going into Tuesday afternoon. Wednesday morning really we'll see about less than a quarter of Idaho Sea, half of an inch in Boise after the system starts to roll out. So we're getting the heaviest parts of this tonight overnight tapering on to our Tuesday morning commute and through the afternoon. So really grab an umbrella today and keep it in your car for with you tomorrow. For the mountains we're going to see another inch of snow in the area growing about another two in most places and then up to four Four to eight in Pine and Stanley as well. Catch them could see another two to four. So we're getting a bunch of rain and snowfall with this next system, but there's some relief as we go into the weekend. As those showers clear out this morning, we'll start to see the heavy ones take place near Caldwell, Ontario, Emma, and Boise as well. Temperatures still in the 50s. Looking at the Magic Valley, we're still seeing lighter showers of snow and rain come through the area with a few pop-ups through the afternoon. But after nine o'clock, we'll really start to see the heavier parts of the system come into the area. So a little later for this area, but still pushing towards it. West Central Mountain seeing that snow and rain shower scattered throughout the morning and then overnight tonight is when we'll see a heavier system take place near Garden Valley, Idaho City, and even Cascade. So temperatures still in the 40s and 50s, which is the good news, and then we'll continue to warm as we go into the weekend. But we've got more snow and rain on our radar today. So with that snow shower pushing through East Central Mountains, they'll start to see the heavier parts really become widespread going into 10 o'clock. So if you're going to be out and about in the town, whether it's in the East Central Mountains, West Central Mountains, or in the Valley floors, just take those roads slowly tonight. But good news is, as we go into Wednesday morning, we'll start to see some of that relief. Temperatures go from 49 to 54 in the matter of a day as a high pressure ridge builds over the area. And then this weekend shapes up to be pretty nice with sunshine on the radar. Um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday temperatures in the 60s. But let's go take a look at your